We at Bondang Primary School would like to show our respect and acknowledge to the traditional custodians of the land on which our school is situated. Of elders past and present, we extend a warm welcome to everybody who visits our school. We acknowledge and show respect for Aboriginal culture and the heritage that the ongoing and the ongoing relationship that the traditional owners have with their land. left of this term we have week six week seven week eight and week nine in this term it's a very short term and I know teachers are going crazy trying to fit in all of their assessment and all the work for you this this term girls and boys it's been a fantastic term but we are heading into that cold weather please make sure that you're wearing warm clothes and jackets it's very very cold and frosty in the mornings and you need to be wearing your jumpers and jackets this week has been an awesome week with our families being welcomed back into our classrooms and seeing education. It's 150 years of education and 150 years of Wandong Primary School. How exciting. So great to see our families back in our rooms and back on site. Uh, we almost feel like we're in a normal, normal year. Great to see everyone. Wanted to pass on a massive congratulation, girls and boys, around your ability to be responsible in going into your split rooms. We've had so many people, so many of our teachers and our students away sick and it's been really, really tough. Miss Pollock's been working super hard in trying to find teachers, but it hasn't, hasn't been easy, not easy at all. So I wanted to say a very big thank you for the way that you walk into your split rooms with enthusiasm and a real positivity. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky and hard when you're going to a new space, but not, not our Wandong kids. You guys are fantastic. And I just wanted to thank you for your amazing responsibility in heading into those split rooms and just being part of that classroom. Well done. A reminder about play areas. We often talk about this one. Please make sure that you aren't running on concrete um, and we need, need to be making sure that we're being safe. And part of that is walking on the concrete paths. And our toilet blocks aren't a place that we hang around in. You go to the toilet, girls and boys, and then you head off to a play area to play. And also the front of the school, right in front of my office, is also not an area that we are playing in. Those bars and rails, are not a play area, girls and boys. That's why we have play equipment. It's really important that we aren't swinging or sitting on those rails because it is unsafe. Make sure that you're going out into the playground where there are wonderful, wonderful play areas. Have a fantastic week as we go into week six and be safe this weekend. Yeah.
Good afternoon, everybody. And that draws to a close another week of cold and miserable weather. Um, it's been a great week full of learning and assessment this week. Um, students that have been at school have been working really hard um, towards their learning targets and teachers been working really hard and diligently towards assessment as we head towards the end of semester one. Now, we are still in the midst of um, absence levels being at an all time high with quite a few different bugs um, and illnesses going around the school so if you are at home today um, we hope you're feeling better soon we hope you're resting up in the warm and fingers crossed to have you all back here well again next week um, students and staff included now I'm going to get straight down to business this week and the first thing is a big celebration to all students for um, an improvement in behaviour that we're seeing on the yard up on that block space since we have um, placed the tyres out of commission temporarily for the week. Now there is a plan in place. Um, we're actually resourcing um, some materials, materials, um, sorry, to um, repurpose these tyres. So we're going to trial a couple of different things around how we can use these tyres because they're a really, really wonderful um, play material, but we obviously need to make sure that we are using them in, in a safe manner. Um, and I guess in a manner that, that is secure. Um, so we're not moving them around and, and using them as our own. Stay tuned for that one. Now, while we are talking about behavior and whilst the, the behavior up in those block spaces has improved in one aspect, I wanted to talk about an area that seems to be coming quite a hot spot for some behavior um, and, and for some negative choices that are being made. And this boys and girls is the Gaga pit. Now, it is just a reminder, we were going to have some students do a video for us today, but because of the miserable weather, um, we, we've chosen not to get them outside to do this video. But the bottom line, boys and girls, is when we are playing Gaga, uh, along with other sports, it needs to be a non-contact sport. So we should not be using our hands or our feet at any stage, besides when we're throwing the ball, to touch or push or scratch um, or shove anybody. Now I know lots of boys and girls get competitive, um, you know, and, and you want to win and, and you get really excited in the spirit of the game, but it is never okay to touch anybody else at all. So hands and feet to yourself at all times. And if you need any help or something is happening up there that you are not comfortable with or anywhere on the yard and you can't solve the problem yourself, you need to go and get a teacher. Okay, it's really important that teachers know if there's a problem outside so we can effectively deal with it as it occurs. Okay, really, really important. So gaga pit, hands and feet to ourselves, and we should never ever be seeing anybody pushing anybody else. Okay, if you do see that, reminder again to go and get a teacher. Okay. On to some really, really exciting things. We are a bit further forward in the term now. We've passed the halfway marker, which means our house points leaderboard is almost getting to the pointy end of the term. Now we have seen some consistency in um, who has been leading over the past couple of weeks, and there is not a whole lot of change on that leaderboard. Um, our leader seems to be getting a little bit further away. Um, so stay tuned for that, that will be coming up next. A um, few last things, a quick reminder, concrete path pathways um, more than ever we walk on concrete pathways um, there has been you know some increased excitement with some some of our upper school students playing tiggy um, and tiggy is a great game but that should be played up on block spaces or on the oval it certainly should not be happening in and around the building areas um, naturally we understand that running on a concrete space is not safe because there are so many students around here and people can get seriously hurt but more importantly, at the moment, it is quite wet um, and slippery. So even more the reason to not ever be walking um, on a running, sorry, on a concrete pathway. If you are playing Tiggy, it's just, I guess, a reminder for you to have a chat with your group that you are playing with around where the realms of that Tiggy game are going to be. And they shouldn't be crossing over into this building space, which is just outside the main office or any concrete pathways. They should be um, contained to one spot where nobody is going to get hurt, okay? So just a, just a reminder about that. Tiggy is certainly not banned. We are, of course, able to play Tiggy, um, but we just need to do so in a safe manner, okay? So just a reminder about that. Lucky last 
thing that I needed to talk about is assembly. Exciting, exciting. Another five, six grade is up in the mix this week. It is not Miss Adams and um, Miss Hall's grade this week. It is Mr. Zarafa's grade. Congratulations to five, six Z, Mr. Zarafa. You are our attendance winners for the week and Pugly will be making his way over to your classroom. If you have big Pugly in your room, can you please relocate him to five, six Z for the following week? And I can't wait to see everybody back, fingers crossed. Hopefully your run's feeling better next week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay warm. Bye for now. Next week on Tuesday, we have district cross country. On Friday, there'll be bookings available for three-way conferences. Hi, Dexter, what's up? Uh, what happened? There's a lot of schools in the Which people are excluding you? Abby and Scarlett. Where are they? I don't know. What did they do? <laughs> what, what game were you playing? Taken. Did you? We're sorry, Dexter. We shouldn't we exclude you. you. Come on, you can come play with us. Let's go. Let's go. And how have you shown kindness this week? By helping my friend when he was hurt. Five, six, e. And how have you been showing kindness this week? I have been helping my friends when his friends have been away all This week. is Quinn from 34G. And how did you show, show kindness this week? Um, when my friend hurt herself, I helped her. This is Talia from 34S. And how did you show kindness this week? Um, I helped someone when they fell over. That's this good. is Clayton from 1, 2, E. And how have you shown kindness? And by letting my friends play with me. Good job. This is Winfred from FL. And how did you show kindness this week? Um, I helped someone get them toy out of the tree. This week's line is... Turtle! Everyone in 5, 6 has been doing learning about cyber safety. Now we'll tell you a little bit more information more about it. We can be cyber safe online by not sh sharing personal ID or your home address. You can be very cautious online by uh, checking what photos you take and what videos you take, if there's any like house number or any info about your personal life. Sometimes when you're doing videos, make sure to have an adult in the background so you know you're safe with an adult. To be cyber safe is to not show your full name online. Go again. A lot of kids our age are using apps like Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and you can't use it until you're like over 13 years old. It's called to be cyber safe. weekend.